This is an Oika interpretation by Rich Blundell of The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. We all know his story, the manic creativity, the torment of self-belief crippled by self-doubt, and the struggle for success or to just be seen. And the one I know, being misunderstood. Well, I understand you, Vincent, and your starry night too, in a way that I think no one else does. Let's look first at the paint. Titanium white, burnt umber, cadmium yellow, cobalt blue. These are the raw materials of the artist. No, I mean the raw materials of the artist. Vincent is made of these atoms, and so are we. The carbon and the oxygen, the calcium and the potassium, are the basic materials of the body. We know these elements are forged in stars and recompiled by time into living beings. When stars die, heat tears atoms apart and shock waves squeeze them into lead, cobalt, and copper. Billions of years later, humans create new configurations, mix them with oils, and squeeze them again into little tubes of star paste. Van Gogh painted his stars by freeing captured starlight that now lodges in our eyes as the reflected photons of another nearby star. Whenever we look at the starry night, or a starry night, it's a melange of matter, light, and life. Let's also look at the painting's composition. It takes fine motor control to orchestrate these swirls of viscous color. This landscape reveals the hidden infrastructure of the artist's creativity. What we are really looking at is the matrix of relationships that Vincent lived in. His brain converted his world into electromagnetic impulses that then guided his muscles to push the brush across the canvas. The electricity that shoots through neurons from his head to his hand is just another manifestation of light. So the artist used his body made of old starlight to fling colored particles of starlight using electric pulses of that same starlight to recompose the vision of stars he held within him. And on one dark asylum night, at the pinnacle of his failures, Vincent managed to find enough love of light to conjure the stars of his troubled mind for us. This is the memory of Vincent van Gogh. And this is the memory of the Big Bang. It's a photograph taken by scientists of the cosmic microwave background radiation. But it's really an ecology. These swirls of primordial light evolved through relationship over 13.8 billion years into these relationships. And these. And these. And this. Ecological intelligence is nature's imagination expressed as human thought and action. And so is The Starry Night, a self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh.